it's hard for people to understand when you've got the whole group that has gotten to that point where they're just like, do they want to lose their job? No. Do they love their job and the company they used to work for? Yes. But it had gotten to the point where it wasn't worth it. And for people to make that choice to go out on the street when you're, you've got a good job, you're making good money, but that's not everything. What we were fighting for wasn't money, had nothing to do with money. It had to do with your quality of life, the things that unions have stood for for years. And we knew if we didn't put a stop to it, that it could ruin the heritage of Jim Beam. For a couple years, we was pulling 16 hours a day, every day of the week, except Sunday. Once in a while, we would get off Sunday. We actually had people that got hurt and they got suspended for being hurt and everybody was scared. And like they said, it wasn't about the money or your insurance or anything. It had nothing to do with that. It was about the way we was being treated and the way our work life was getting to be. Respect was the biggest thing. And you know, for them to actually realize that we're the people who are working there and who know our jobs and nobody will listen to us. You know, we just wanted a fair contract with no gray areas, open ends, protect our seniority, our jobs. We had a contract that we took to the members. It got overwhelmingly voted down. Was it 201 to 19 the first time? That automatically put us in the position to go on strike. It started getting into the media and spreading. It was almost like wildfire when it took off. We love Jim Beam, but we don't feel they love us back. When you have a strike, company loses, the union loses, nobody wins in a strike. All we're asking for is a fair contract. The strike started last week when more than 200 Jim Beam employees walked off the job. Sports been unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm so proud of the support we get from our community. Union members say they're being overworked to keep up with the demand for Jim Beam products. And they need to hire more permanent people so we can be able to do our jobs and not have all this overtime. We knew it was an uphill battle from the beginning. We just wanted to be sure that they knew that it was our battle. To know that those people were out on the picket line and it was up to us to try to get something to get them back to work. It was a big wait because you didn't know how it was going to turn out. Well, the day that we voted and I knew that we were going to strike, it was the hardest thing I had ever done. I mean, I'm a single mom, but I mean, I knew it had to be done. I mean, we were being treated horrible. Growing up, like you said, we were born and raised in Kentucky. I was born and raised 20 miles away from Jim Beam, grew up on a farm. I've been coming to Jim Beam for, I'm 21 years old, I've been coming here for 15 years hauling slop for my farm. So knowing the name and growing up in the area, you took a sense of pride in that. And when I got the job at Jim Beam, it, I took a sense of pride of getting the job. You know, I couldn't be happier. When you get there and you see all here and see everything that's going on and you see the quality of the product that's getting sent out because like they said, the temporaries, but my name is on that case. So if something comes back, it's, it's my name they're gonna see, not the temporaries. So with them kind of going around that saying, that's, we're gonna let a temporary do that, that's, that's taken away from the union jobs. We need something that says that they can't do that job. That should be a full-time job. When they came back and sat down with the tape at the table with us, they brought this sheet of paper right here and it had answers to almost every item that was brought up in that meeting. The company has committed to making things better. You can already see some of the changes. You can see the stress and the tension is like gone. Leave at four o'clock, my wife gets home at five o'clock. Uh, I get home at five, six o'clock in the morning. She leaves at six o'clock in the morning, so we don't ever see each other. And, and that's already over the been back to work two weeks now, it's already a lot better. I'm a lot happier and I, I'm excited to see what the next two years hold. Uh, relief, tickled, and uh, very happy that we did. We took our union and we finally stood together because we wanted something better. If there hadn't been a union there and that management came in, 
Uh, I cannot imagine what it would have been like. We never in a million years thought that our one little short one week strike would affect every union, every labor movement across the United States, it feels like, because there were people calling from every state. They're gonna pay attention and they're gonna say, wait a minute, did you see what Jim Beam did? Did you see the coverage that that got? Do we want our people to do that? Maybe we should treat our people better. Like I say, the 25 years I've been in the union, it is stronger now than it's ever been. The thing I can say to other union brothers and sisters is stick together, stay strong, and you can get what you need as long as you stay together and union strong.